updated. This vulnerability no longer exists, but it's a great example. It's a great first application to fuzz. Uh, again, that's in those files that I uh, put up on the screen earlier. So let's run the fuzzer and show you what it does. Use auxiliary fuzzers, TFTP, simple fuzzer. No options. Well, you can kind of see it. Set our host. We set it to my host that I've got over here. 60. All right, so you see the application and it's running. When I run the fuzzer, start sending data. It should crash here in just a second. Should crash. Should crash. Live demos. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make sure all this is working properly. And the downside to uh, fuzzing UDP is it won't tell you once if it's not connecting. If you fuzz TFTP or uh, TCP, then you uh, you get status updates on you know, like if the application is still listening. UDP is just like, hey, I'm going to keep sending this crap on the wire. Yeah, we might be going to the videos because uh, demos are hell. Nice. All right, video time. It's a promise. It breaks. All right, can you guys see that ball? Barely. Barely. Awesome. This sucks.
So, um, yeah, demo. I should have made so many demos. Okay, so um, the first, I didn't send you guys all the files to get a complete exploit written. Um, in that, I'll post them on my website. But I gave you the first one, which I'll show you now. Okay, so all this stuff at the beginning here, and yeah, that's really good. Uh, this all defines the exploit. Uh, I, again, didn't write this from scratch. There is an example exploit built into Metasploit that I copied over to my folder and started uh, manipulating to meet my needs. The big thing that I had to change from that was uh, change it from remote TCP to remote UDP. Uh, other than that, I set the space as about 350 characters. Uh, X00, the null byte, uh, is a bad character. That would, It doesn't relate to what we're doing right now, but when we add our payload, uh, it will relate. That's where you put, if you know that the program will quit on certain characters coming through, you can put those there, and the encoders will make sure that that character isn't present. Uh, zero, 00 is always going to be in there, because it's a null byte. It'll end your session. Um, you see there the targets, windows. Um, that's where he was talking about in the web interface you saw. You could have multiple targets. Uh, this is generic uh, for Windows. I put that uh, 4242, 4242. Uh, that is the letter B. So for one's A, 42's B, and so on. Um, that's not going to come into play uh, quite yet, but I went ahead and put it there. Then you can see down here, this, this is the important stuff. Uh, if you remember from earlier, it said the RSC, you've got the 0001 starts a TFTP packet, sets the mode. I'm then going to send, using the pattern create, send 300 characters, and then I end it, and then I send it to the wire. So let me go ahead and try that. Setting the host. Six, eight, sixty. Uh, you do have to set a payload. But I use a generic debug trap because it doesn't send anything. Um, and I'll restart our service. You just go to debug restart and start the process. And exploit. All right, so it builds the crash. Since the crash, it says no session was created. It's because no session was created. Um, but what is created is this string 69413569. So that probably means I'm going to write that down. So go back and forth. Six, nine. By the way, when you're going to exploit development, have a pen and paper handy because you have to write down a lot of crap. Right, Dave? All right, so now we go back to this. We'll go to now. All right, so you've got your pattern offset. And you type in that number that we just pulled, 69413569. Oh, and it says 256. That means it takes 256 bytes to get to our 4-byte overwrite. Um, that means we have to send 256 A's or whatever, and then after that, we put in our 4 bytes for our overwrite for where we want it to go, and then we have it will jump to there. So, any questions? Seriously, guys? It took me like a month to get this crap. So, <laughs> yes? Are you going to put the payload in the first... 256, is that the idea? No, no, no. I, I'll address that here in a minute. That first 256 is what creates the crash. It's what actually makes the application die. Right. And then after that's our four bytes. And you're going to set the uh, structure pointer to Yes, and then something. here in a minute, I'll pull up. I'll show you. Yeah, go ahead and pick something out of the box. Um, it will... Okay. It will... We actually have some more space to do with it. Uh, 
later on, and it's a little bit easier than that. 